Hello everybody, my name is Aaron, aka Pointy Teeth, and welcome back to AW5 Forever Road to Elite Mode with Jeffrey Nero Hardy, or Brother Nero, or just Jeff, or Jeff Hardy, or just Jeffrey. I don't know, there's many other ways you could describe him. Willow, um, Itchweed, you know, he's, he's had many names over the years. But either way, um, where are we? We're at, f we're at full gear? Are we at full gear? We're at full gear. Okay then. Uh, what do we need? We don't really need a lot. Shall we just dive straight into a second match? We might as well just dive straight into another match, aren't we? Dark or Rampage? We'll go Rampage. Why the hell not? I've not played this in weeks, so I kind of need to freshen myself up a bit. And by freshen myself up, I mean get my ass kicked by Hammer this Adam Page. Is set for one fall. Damn, the shadows on the Page's eyes there. At the time of recording this, it was announced last night that um, CM Punk had been released by AEW. That was announced last night, so I've dated what time I am recording this. And I'm not going to make much in the way of comment. I'm just going to turn around and say, I wish Punk wasn't his own worst enemy. I really do. But it's always amazing when you see these weird things happen. Like, the last two years in terms of wrestling have been absolutely insane just for the just for CM Punk in and of himself. Think about it. We never thought we'd see him again in wrestling. At all. Like, everybody was like, Punk's done. We're never seeing him again. He's, he's finished. He don't want to come back, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, he comes back. He comes back and he goes to A-Dub, has a very weird run, some matches absolutely fantastic, some kind of the driveling shits, it's to be expected. And now he's just gone again, like out of nowhere gone again. because he couldn't keep his temper in check, apparently. But anyway, Jesus, the spring on that hangman. I've also completely forgot how to play this, by the way, so... Oh God, apparently head shaking. Come here. There we go, this is how you do the six. Yeah, all right. Hangman, we're on Rampage, so you're getting a twist. Go save the Swanton for the pay-per-view. Cover. Is that a Jeff chant or a Yes chant? I feel like it should be a Jeff chant. Well, goddamn. Apparently, I have not forgotten how to play this. Jeffrey Nero Hardy, is it? You never get a chance to read those. <laughs> Credit to the load times. Couldn't have been easy on Jeff to compete tonight, having received a death sentence from Death Triangle. Thanks, Taz. Cheers for that. Cheers for reminding me that, you know, Death Triangle are out for my head. Really should come by with the, with the Willow, you know, come out with the uh, the umbrella. Did anyone catch the Willow run in TNA? When Jeff did the Willow run in TNA, I loved it. A bunch of people weren't that keen, they just wanted Jeff Hardy, but I absolutely loved him as Willow. I thought it was fantastic. I also loved his Itchweed stuff as well, so I thought that was great, and a bunch of people were never keen on that. Uh, press conference. Why not? Let's see. Oh God, standing very awkwardly there, Jeff. I'd like to tell you a little story, CL. It's about a frog who came upon a scorpion asking for help across a lake. You see, scorpions can't swim. <laughs> Fuck you, Sting. <laughs> the frog hesitated but decided to be kind to the scorpion in need. Halfway across the lake, the scorpion stung the frog while riding on his back. The frog said, 
Why did you do that? We'll both die. The Scorpio replied, because it's in my nature. Well, I got stung by Death Triangle, but I'm still fighting. I'll battle the Scorpions at full gear in any match. We'll see who sinks and who swims. Hope you got your tickets at to full gear, Seattle. That was a very, very bizarre promo, Jeff. But Jeff is a bizarre promo, so we'll take it. <laughs> Sting can't swim. It's good to know. Drinking coffee. Coffee always good. Do I go dining? Or do I do? Good? I think I'll do dining last. I'll sightsee first. We'll eat last, so we're, we're full and can throw up all over the Death Triangle at the pay-per-view. <laughs> Cups and cakes in Seattle, Washington. That is just a, a pretty picture off Google. <laughs> Great aesthetic in here. Hey, Brit. Well, Jeff, I thought it was you. Are you a fan of the coffee house? Or the coffee here, even? Yeah, some of the best I've had. You too. I rarely drink coffee. Stains your teeth. But coffee shops are a great place to read a book. You, you can read, right? Brett, just because you know, you're know you a dentist and this channel is called Pulling Teeth doesn't mean you get away with this shit. Always a pleasure, Dr. Baker. Always a pleasure. Do we get a picture with Brett? We don't get a picture with Brett. God damn. I want a picture with Brett. It's weird that they're talking about the coffee thing and I am currently drinking coffee. Uh, right, dining. Well, last thing to do before we go to the pay-per-view. Let's go get some snacks. Mm. Good coffee, too. Cheap, but good. It wasn't a rock. <laughs> what the hell was it? Famished. Good luck. Uh, oh, G I thought that was good luck. <laughs> Geoduck is the world's largest burrowing clam. Geoduck sounds like a Pokemon. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's actually pronounced gooey duck. That sounds worse. And of course, it's not related to the birds. Thank you for spelling out the pronunciation on account of there being no voiceovers. <laughs> Jeff with the fourth wall gone again. I'm just doing my job. Jeff's just Deadpool in this. There's no fourth wall. I'd say the weirdest shit. Je Jeff Hardy plays the role of Deadpool in AEW Fight Forever. <laughs> Jesus, that looks kind of disgusting. I'm not gonna. It probably tastes really good, but it looks disgusting. Not the prettiest creature in the ocean. There we go. I'm gonna keep calling it Geoduck rather than Gooey Duck because Geoduck sounds cooler. Is well cared for from hatchery to plate, where you can uh, <laughs> where you can sample its savory flavor yourself. So it just it tastes salty. Well, it's seafood, so it will taste salty, won't it? You know, whereas when you say something, they realize how dumb it is. Brody! Look at you! Cast out of Death Triangle, reduced to eating sea slugs. Well, you know, here's what it is. Yeah, and I'm really glad you brought it up. <laughs> In another universe, you and I are breaking bread together in the Dark Order. Too bad life isn't some game you can replay for a different result. Isn't it, though? Anyway, your consolation prize is a photo with me. Hell yeah, Brody! Kind of convenient timing with the recent announcement of the passing of Bray Wyatt. This kind of feels uh, appropriate. Where's the picture? Why well, I'm just awkwardly in the background. It's like I photo bombed him. <laughs> that's not a picture with Brody. That's Jeff Hardy photo bombing Brody Lee. Uh, brilliant. Anyway, we only have one thing left to do. Let's go to a pay-per-view. Where I have to try and fight Death Triangle. By myself. With no friends. It's Saturday night, and you know what that means. All Elite Wrestling Full Gear. Live from Seattle, Washington. The Dangerous Death Triangle almost had a new member. Instead, they found a new target. Pack battles the group's former recruit tonight in a lights out match. Oh great, lights out, wonderful. That means they're all gonna get involved, isn't it? This bout is set for woodfall. Did I just say DQ was on? 
I missed that. I swear that's just said DQ was on. I swear. I swear that just said DQ was on. And just turned to Sean Connery there while I'm speaking. I swear. Three. Just pew 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 This is probably about to be 11 and 2. Because I get a feeling I am just about... Just keep them going opposite directions. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm probably about to get my ass handed to me by all three members. Oh, Jesus, Pack. Okay. Jump start, why don't you? Nice evasion, although I've just kicked you out of the ring nearly. Oh, God. <laughs> that cell. Can you quit with the springy news? Apparently, I also can't. Would you stop? Just no, no. Ow. Eh. I knew it. I goddamn well knew it. Okay, that didn't work. I kind of wanted to spring over the ropes and take out Penta. Nice. How do you change target? How do you change target? I can't remember how you change target. I'm just kind of ignoring Penta's whole existence here. That's how you change target. Get Oh god, okay. <laughs> They're all coming in. This is not going to be easy. I'm about to get my whole ass handed to me. Alright, well I hit Penta. Take them all out. Fight them all, Jeff. Where's Matt when you need him? Nice. Come on. Come on. No. Sick. Ah, screw you, Phoenix. Oh, damn it, Penta. Oh, screw it. Why the hell not? Nope. This is going to be so difficult. God, oh, tilt a well. That's just not what I needed at all. Just stomping me out. My God. Ow. Not what I wanted at all. Pack. Aha. Still swinging. Still swinging. Kind of. Trying at least. Sarah Miela, or however you pronounce it. Oh, I'm getting double teamed. <laughs> no. Ow. Okay. I'm in, I'm in pain. I can't even move. Oh, God. Poison Rana. This is going to be a loss. There is no way around it. Oh, oh. Okay. There's three of them. Okay, I'm still in it, I'm still in it, I'm still in it. I'm not quitting yet. Don't sell on yellow all of you at the same time. Come here. Dickhead. No, 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 no. Damn it. Aha! Drop you two, why the hell not? Phoenix is the only one so far that has got away with not being hit with that. I think it's too slippery. How are they just not selling springboards? <laughs> this is grossly unfair. <laughs> I'm still in it though. wanted to face Phoenix. Oh god. This is not good. This is really not good. Muscle Buster. Oh no, even a Muscle Buster. Why would they try to break it up? <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> One and a half stars. God damn. 
I got my ass handed to me in that one, but it was three on one. What do you expect? Cut me a little slack. There was no way out of that. There was nothing I could do. I had zero backup. Well, Pack is victorious at full gear without the help of Delk. Okay, never mind. A oh, Death Triangle is such a dangerous group. No Phoenix there, and Phoenix is the one who hit me with a killing blow. I just forget what he calls the move. But either way, yeah, defeat. Are we surprised? It was three on one, and I'm injured, because of course I am. You'll get the best workout when your motivation is high. Jim, shut up. <laughs> I just lost a three on one mugging. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay, just before that gets copyrighted. God damn it. Well, you know, points for effort. Road to revolution. Relationship problems. Okay, so that's what we're moving into next. Wee! Right the way across the country. We're pretty much right the way across the country. Oh, we're in Canada. It seemed like we were going down and right. How did we end up in Canada? Oh, somewhere over Winnipeg. Ah, I got an email from the office. A sponsor was impressed with your performance at Full Gear. They're offering dinner for two in Toronto. What kind of party shall we make? What kind of party shall we make? Is it romantic or sparring? Maybe both. Are you ready, Jeff? You know it. Floating box. Show me what you got. <laughs> what the hell? Jeff, breaking the fourth wall. Oh, we get to pick. Okay. So, who do we want to take to dinner? Are we talking in the sense of who I actually want to take to dinner? Like, or are we talking just like storyline-wise? It would be cool. I could just take Matt. Matt would make sense. Wouldn't he? Matt would make the most sense. Hmm. I'm tempted with Anna Jay, honestly, <laughs> or Britt Baker. But, uh, Darby could be interesting. Mox could be interesting. Kingston could be interesting. Although I feel like it's got to be Matt. And it? it's got to be. He's the only one where it would make the. Well, it makes the most sense for Jeff to say if he gets a free dinner, Matt come along. Let's go with Matt. Brothers! Brother Nero! Would I call him Brother Moore? Okay, we're, this episode's just not ending anytime soon. Well, we're at a nice restaurant that I'm probably not going to be able to pronounce. Thanks for the invite. I'm glad you consider me... Uh, I'm, glad, uh, <laughs> I'm glad you consider me someone to hang out with outside of the arena. Dude, we're brothers. Answer kindly. Yeah, we're brothers. We live a crazy lifestyle. Having good people around just keeps us sane. Yeah, I feel the same way. Do either of you have room for dessert? I don't. Jeff, what do you think? Uh, you know what? I always go over the dessert. Yeah, if dinner was any indication, dessert would be worth the calories. Wonderful. <laughs> I'll be back with a selection. You got a cavity filled sweet tooth? Hope you plan on working out twice tomorrow to compensate. Ten minutes later. That was delicious and free. Should we go spend some money in Toronto? Uh, or be physically or be fi or be physically responsible. Uh, screw it, let's go spend. Why the hell not? Toronto's a good place to call to get in trouble. I'm down. Sounds good. Since you hooked us up, the next spot is my treat. Hold on, you two. Just one more thing. Can you take a picture? Go on then, dear. Take our picture. After a dramatic pause. Hey, brothers. Hardy boys rock Toronto. Nice. Well, we're going to see what happens with all of that in the next episode. So thank you everybody so much for joining me in this one. It's been a genuine pleasure as per usual. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill, all the fun stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.